All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> you looking for work by any chance? Oh. Actually, real quick before we start, uh, one thing the devs did tell me we can do, which I don't think the other, the other uh, folks did, is we can use the minimal, the minimal HUD. Um, I think it's called immersive. Let's see, I will turn on the stamina bar. What's really cool is they made it so the UI can be like very, very adjusted. So we could turn off all the health bars if you want to. I'm gonna turn off. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I think I do want all like most of these on. So, yeah, the 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 uh, the standard is called RPG. So I think I'm actually going to keep that on now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, the HUD is fully customizable, which is nice. So that was actually based on feedback from the playtest they did. Let me go ahead and move over a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Hi. I'm Damien. Hey, Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Um. Yeah. Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because For the I record, I've not done city. this quest yet. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Coriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Okay. I'll do it. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. Missing person. And just between us, you won't regret it. Okay. So, quick look at the game. It's beautiful. It's running very well. Digging both of those. Um, is streamer mode for audio on? I believe it is. Yes, I believe it is. Quick look through our stuff here. Looks like we got some nice weapons. Tip socket, shaft socket, charm socket. Cool. There's modifications available. We've got regeneration boosters, toughness boosters, immunity boosters. Uh, oh, we can throw coins to make noise. We've got mines, molotovs, throwing knives, binoculars, and a GRE access key. Full gear this time around. Chest piece for medic, a class focused on parkour, combat, and healing. Gloves for a ranger, a class focused on ranged weapons and stealth. A brawler. Anyone on this? Okay. Cool. Some good stats on that. Okay, let's keep moving. <clears throat> Oh, I've just been informed. By the way, big thanks to the devs. They're kind of like plugged in while we're doing this. So we can, uh, so I know what I'm going, know what I'm doing here. Oh, here we go. Okay. So this is an 18 damage. Let's get the 30 damage for our main. Is the two the sockets? I don't know what the two is. Okay. Let's put, uh, let's see. We'll try a scrapper hammer for the second one. Ooh, a 41 damage. Oh, that's a two hand though. What bow? Okay. Try the bow. We'll put that in four. And then we'll do the two hands. Let's take a look here. Oh, we can't attack it. You can't use a weapon. Got right Godfrey with a 69 months, and he says, nice. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Nice little hut at the top. Map looks good. Looks like we're heading to the southwest. There's all the rewards. We got 750 experience for each tree, some scraps, some money, and a decision? Is that what that last icon means? Interesting. Okay. Journal. Inventory. Crafting. Nice. Skills tree looking good. Oh, I got points. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Perfect parry. I want that one. Like that. And 
block incoming projectiles like knives and arrows. When blocking, charge at an enemy in front of you to knock them to the ground. Windmill, ground pound. Precise aiming. Ooh. Well, I could I could use that, but <clears throat> got up here. Use the momentum of attacking enemies to throw them to the side. When an enemy moves to you, press F in a direction. And it staggers the enemy if done properly. Well, that's interesting. So you'd use that in place of block. Hmm. Stab. Oh, quickly take down unaware enemies. There we go. Great. Now over to here. Uh, far jump, dart, crowd runner, stealth movement. Oh, wall running. Safe landing. <clears throat> okay. And uh, let's do fast climb. Okay. How am I playing this right now? It's an early look from Techland. Too. How's our ping system? Accept this child into okay. thy realm. A child which, according to your mysterious oh. plan, you have taken from us to protect her in your bosom. May your heavenly Luba. domain prevent him from knowing hunger, cold, or pain. <laughs> May he spend no eternal life. In the ultimate Such truth, shame. we bid you farewell, Slavko Zdenek. Aiden. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. Hmm. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Man, it's so pretty. <laughs> nice. Can I show my FPS? I don't know if I'm able to. I don't know if there's a button for that. Is there a button for that, devs? I'll tell you, it's running great on my side. Hopefully it's looking good for you, too. Dark Hollows and Forsaken Stores are two open-world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, so it's smart to explore them at night. Forsaken Stores provide you with rare craft parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other more advanced items. Dark Hollows are the best place to find valuables and old-world money. Loot them to increase your wealth. Okay. Unfortunately, I, think, I don't think I'm supposed to do these. Oh, wait. No, I can just loot that. Right? I, think, I think I can do some loot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, God. Throwing spear. Opportunity weapon. <laughs> Well, that was an opportunity. Okay, I'm supposed to stick to the main quest, so I should probably keep doing that, although I really want to do more of this. It's okay. I'm going to back this way. Oh, I can't? I can fight him? I said I can fight him. I'm fighting him. I'm doing this. Dad, I'm doing this. Oh, he, he faked me out, man! Whoa. Dodge this, oh, okay. Okay, that's a zombie. Oh, 
Yeah, get him. Nice. Get out of here. So much blood. Got a little loot thing going on. I dig it. Okay. Really? Oh my, I'm sorry guys. Give me give me just one second here. I need to uh <clears throat> do something in chat real fast. This is your whole music. Okay, there we're all done. Okay. Thank you very much, God Brett Godfrey. I appreciate that, buddy. <clears throat> that actually worked. There it is. Uh -oh. Very much like Dying Light 1, which is fine. That system worked great. And I'm just as good at it, apparently. Okay. Leather Guard's Uncommon Bracers. Uh, bracers. Oh, look at that. Damage distance from human enemies and one hand weapon damage. Oh, man, do it. Boom. Awesome. Okay, back to the quest. Uh, do I have a flashlight? I think I just threw something. Hmm. I think F is my flashlight? No, F is to use things. It's always T. Oh, thank you. Oh, man, that was nice. Okay. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me! Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Yes. Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? Is there an RP walk in this game? Jerry, out of curiosity. Like if I don't want to run. V? I guess I can, I can sneak with C. Oh, with the controller? Okay. Alt F4 is the RP walk chat. Oh, thank you so much. You are so helpful. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so if we're grabbing onto something, old C to drop. Very cool. Oh. Don't mind me, just taking your stuff. I'm hey, Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. And look at this. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? 
What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. Here. He's here! Try this, asshole! No escape now. Dude, the fake outs are kind of messing with me. Stop it. Oh, there it is. Okay, he wound up a little bit there. Oh, that's a long time. That's a long time. Okay. <laughs> Enough dying, sir. Blue Cardigan, appreciate you being here, buddy. Is there a charge move? I think there's a lot of moves we don't have yet. So, I, I don't know the extent of all of the moves. I know that I can jump over enemies and I can drop kick them. Um, let's take a quick look and see what we have real quick. So we can vault kick. We can jump on enemies and then left click to vault kick a nearby enemy. We've got the perfect dodge at spacebar. Air kick, we can do that from dropping on enemies. A power attack. Okay, we, we do have a power attack. So hold and release. Perfect parry. And a stab. So it looks like there's a good amount of other stuff. It looks like there's some stuff in the first game as well. Stab follow-ups. Block charge. Yeah. So, all sorts of stuff. Lots of co-stabbing. That's right. M m many co-stabs. Brilliant hammer. I am completely down for that. Oh damn, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Throwing knives? A lot of throwing knives. Okay. Use a bottle to stagger an enemy. Press left click to throw. Oh, we could have picked up this spear and used it time I'll have to remember that when we do this quest again online cool ooh Whoa. Hold up. That's that's a lot better. All right, hold up now. Swap. Nice. Okay. Great. How's the durability? So we did a lot. Okay. So that's how much durability we lost using this weapon. But we've been using primarily this weapon. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. It seems similar to the first game. All right, let's follow the waypoint back. Can we get in here? We absolutely can. Weapon sockets again? Yes, I, I think the game is similar to where you can update and change weapons on the fly to give them different effects and things of that nature, so. That is back. I am definitely liking the amount of loot that I'm seeing. Looks like I might have missed a room. That's okay. 
Hey, you, you, how, how did you die? Oh, you asshole! You set me up. What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... Terrible. But I swear, that would be I don't know. Terrible. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me. They have Man. my brother. The story's changing all over the place. Uh, by the way, the one, one second on the stuff here. I need to make sure, I have a little thing to make sure that we maximize how much time we get out of this. And there it is. Okay, I saw it. But opening that made my frame drop. That was on my end, not the game. Yep. Okay, so obviously we could hand Damien over to Carl right now. And I'm sure that would have its, all of its own ramifications. This dude is clearly sus. He is, he is lying all over the place to try to save himself. So I, I feel like a good guy option would be, well, we don't know this. Actually, let's find out. We're going to cooperate with him. Your brother. I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad, I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? Okay. <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. You don't have the map. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. So... I gotta say, like, it's it's interesting. So the, the facial expressions are relatively st static, but the graphics and the mouth, especially, are so much better than Dying Light 1. <laughs> like, that's... It's clearly that it's clear they've made a huge amount of improvement over what they had in Dying Light One, um, which is pretty great. So it's it's come a very long way. Not perfect, obviously, but it's come a very long way. So I'm assuming yellow moves things forward. So I guess this is just like a flavor thing. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it, but it's then times better. changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. The animations are also a lot better. I guess better. I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Aiden, you serious? You do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. Just gonna chill here. Nice. Uh, maybe. Hi. Uh, I'm sure he's still alive. Sure he's fine. It's fine, Chad. It's fine. Totally fine. Uh, let's see here. I. It's the VIPs. Lion says, is this an ad? This is not an ad. Uh, I'm not being paid today. This is not a, a sponsored stream. 
The devs did give me an early access opportunity to look at a side quest, though. And as somebody who is very interested in seeing how the game is, I jumped at that opportunity. So, uh, somebody said first impressions a little bit ago. First impressions, it's very pretty. It technically looks like the next Dying Light. The traversal and the combat feels different. It feels more floaty. And I think that's okay. Because I think in the first Dying Light, your camera was was super jerky at times. And I remember many times in our first playthrough, especially, where people were like, this is kind of hard to watch because the camera will not stop moving. So I feel like they've smoothed that out a little bit. But it still feels tight. Everything everything still feels tight. The traversal and the, and the combat still feel good. So, um, yeah. I, I have no issues with that change. As, as a streamer, I'm actually pretty glad they did that because I'm hoping it's a little bit more easy to watch. Um, also, clearly the color palette has been expanded a lot. So not only do we have like the drab undertones of kind of like standard city stuff at the bottom, now we have an almost like arboreal forest palette that we use for the roofs, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of a fun dichotomy. Um, I mean, you, your, your entire palette basically changes by elevation, which is kind of cool. So... Yeah, I mean, there's 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 a lot of things I'm liking about this for sure. Yeah, the the organic, the organic design of the city is also very cool. Uh, it is it is a just like Dying Light One, it looks to be a very well designed city, which is which is pretty great. Which is pretty great. Any pray today? Yeah, we're gonna be playing playing pray this afternoon. Want to get that wrapped up? Oh. Empty. God, look at that guy. Easy. I'll hear that. Okay. <laughs> High jumping is really cool too. I think I saw bees? Maybe not. As much as I'd love to explore all these other things, that is not what we're here to do today. Larch windmill. Unlock action structures and safe. What is it? Something fucking stung me! Okay, sit down. Damn it! Oh, my neck's killing me. Uh, oh, is it? Let me work that out for be. you. <laughs> How was that? Did that work? No? How's your neck? I'm confused. Why isn't he saying anything back? Weird. Maybe, it's, maybe it's bugged or something. Yo, wait, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to get this stuff. I'm not supposed to get this stuff. We'll save that for relief. You are. I'm more like that mortar. I couldn't have survived without you. I think you Uh, I think we can jump in this. Hopefully. Okay, good. When's release? February 4th. Ooh. Oh. Two hand weapons feel a lot better. Okay, I definitely am liking the two-hand weapons. I wasn't a big fan of two-hand weapons in that one. But in this game, they feel a lot better. Ooh. Honey. Okay. Cool. Let me use that for healing stuff. Okay. 
I actually make this? Devil's Bridge. Okay. That map looks so much better. Okay, what is that? Oh, oh, it's like fast climbing. Well, that's interesting. It's F. Okay. It's right, so looking in our HUD. Oh, we have to go in here. Okay. A little sneaky. up UV shrooms. Just a lonely old guy. That was good voice acting. Wonder how many of those there are in the game. Anyway, on to killing zombies. It literally said one of sixty-three. Oh, I missed that. I do seem to have a timer at the top of the screen. It's called the Dev Timer. That's the countdown until the devs DMCA me for taking too long. But we better stay on top of that. We know you're slow, Co. We told you to be fast. Pay attention. Oh, Lord. No, I think that's the, uh... I think that's the infection type. Immunity timer. I will say, I know this is probably hard for the devs to do, but I would love so much if there was a key I could hold down to walk through these environments on PC. 
I know it's probably too late for that, but if you ever patch it in, I would be eternally grateful. These these are beautiful, beautiful scenes, and I and I hate that I have to like speed through them. I would love to be able to like hold down C and like slowly walk through the environment and appreciate them. Just a small request. Small request. When you when you go to this far efforts to make your game look this good, I think many of us would love to appreciate it. Oh, and controller it works. They already set up a controller. In fact... Oh, I don't know if the controller's turned on. No, it's not turned on. Yeah, I'll mess with that later. But yeah, he, he, uh, they already said the controller has, has full acceleration on it. So if you only hold the controller forward a little, it'll walk. Yeah. I just wish there was a way to do that on PC. But hey, maybe that's an easy fix for him. We'll see. Yeah, we just one shot that dude. <laughs> Oh, that's their awareness bar. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, middle mouse button. Interesting. Ooh, nope. I'm noticing that my power swing seem to be vertical. I wonder how I can make that horizontal. Oh. There we go. I am all up in the corner. Two-in weapon looks so satisfying. It's good. Yeah, the two-in weapons feel great in this game. It looks like they've done a lot more to make it so they hit multiple zombies, which is great. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna need to do it. <coughs> okay. Use UV shrooms. Um there we go. How do I use this stuff? These are these are my four main consumables. Ah, uh, there's gotta be a button. Maybe F4? No. Uh sure. Five? Ah, perfect. Okay. I just hold down eight. Okay, that's stopped it? What did that do? Oh, it went up a little bit. Oh, that didn't go up very much. Uh, what does this do? It generates a substantial part of your immunity. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. There it is. Oh, we can block them. Okay. Looks like headshots are not going to be instant kills. Oh, Jesus. There we go. I guess we're still just exploring this. Oh, we got a waypoint. We got a straight up waypoint. Okay. Your weapon is almost broken. Find a new one. Can we repair it or anything? Oh, 
we can only modify these. Okay. Uh, let's put you over there. That's fine. Uncommon. Oh, that's a one-hand stick. One-hand machete. We have a big two-hand. Big chungus weapon. Oh, we replaced it. These are all one-hand. Yeah. Okay. We need to find another big two-hand weapon. That's fine. Our main weapon's pretty good. Can we modify this? Oh. That's fire effect. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Get in there right now. Am I playing or a video? Oh, I'm playing. He looks to the left. Looks to the right. Left, right, left, right. Yeah. Do I have like a Molotov or something I can throw at this? A mine. How do, how do I throw the mine? I want to throw the mine. <laughs> how do I do this? Uh, not five. That was a scripted question. It's true. Up, down, up, down. Yeah, that's it's all scripted. That's right. This is G. I don't know. Oh, oh, holding one lets you pick the weapon. Blunt slashing. That's cool. Okay, great. Oh shit. Uh, this. Did me coughing alert the zombies? Kind of cool. Uh, three? No, it's all this stuff. Four? What about six? No, that's the stuff still. Oh, these become the keys. Four, five, six. Okay. So then, there we go. How do I actually throw these? Middle mouse button, maybe? Okay, well. I will take it. That worked out pretty well, Koboom. <laughs> All right, so now I go to here. Oh, Molotovs. Here we go. All right. Molotovs were great in the last one. This would be pretty good damage. Definitely designed to just weaken groups. Yo, there's UV light down there. Hmm... a rope. Anything yellow. Yellow seems to be the color for this game. Anytime you see yellow, it's something you can grab onto or use or... Oh. Oh. Now, do you need your brain a little bit more? Let's find out.
Did I hit him in the head? They do seem a little bit weaker, but they're also just level one. Yeah, that's definitely an arrow in his brain. Maybe it was like some kind of invasive acupuncture. Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. Wait, so you're not... You're working with him, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Who, me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he had... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Waltz? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Who's greater good? The greater the bosses, good. of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. Wait, do I have to kill his brother? Oh, no. This is awkward. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Oh, he's running off. I hit me the last year. You know what? Y'all just gonna die. Oh, wait, that's not right. Uh, I wanna do this. Nope, oh, this. Almost. Oh, he's throwing knives up top. The red flash it means I have to dodge, and I'm definitely not doing Damien? that. Damien, listen. That's oh, great. That's okay.
the while he's burning. Okay. Next time. Why are people ragging on the game? I mean, here's the thing. If if you expected the next thing since sliced bread, then sure. I mean, this game is not. This game is not going to give you everything you want in that regard. If you enjoyed Dying Light 1 and you wanted, like, the next thing, I'd say this is everything you could pretty much have wanted so far. Uh, the combat feels more evolved. The world is, is a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. There's a more human element. I mean, it feels great. I'm actually loving this. So, yeah, man, if you liked Dying Light 1, I think you'll probably really like this game from what I've seen of it. Seems better than Cyberpunk. What I, I'll say this, uh, from the little bit I've played so far, it definitely feels more complete. Yeah. I mean, it, it feels, I'm glad they, they delayed this game and they delayed it to do what they needed to do to make it feel good so far. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super pleased with this. I am super pleased with this for sure. I'm digging the hell out of it so far. If every side quest and the main quest is this level of quality, like we've seen from this quest, then I would, I would think we're going to be just fine with this. Do I know that? Of course I know. But um, I certainly hope it is. Okay, we got to find Cliff. He's in here somewhere, according to the map. Mm -mm. Yeah, the problem the problem is anytime we do like a big hype title like this game, it, it brings in it brings in people that are not going to be happy regardless. So just got to kind of deal with it. Make your own opinions and, you know, just ride that out. Oh, I do have to kill him. Butt clip. God, I'm sorry. I just got this done last night, Cliff. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, Cliff. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Damien. Come on, man. Are you still there? <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Come in, Damien. Oh, my God. God. Can you hear me? <laughs> your brother went out. Um, hey, your, your brother went out Did with a bang. No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Do. See, that's a great example. People in chat right now going, oh, it's so dumb that he didn't get up. I smashed him to the ground and then I wailed on his wang. I mean, what were you expecting? What would you do if someone did that? Use your brains, chat. God, it's so dumb. He looks so dumb. I think that's kind of a, a perfect reaction to that. So yeah, realistic, realism. Uh oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Yes, I call that move the nutcracker. That's right. All set. Uh, looks like we're going back to him. Let's take a look. Oh, can we leave through there? Is there a door we can go through? Oh, I was, oh, I was hanging on that? Can I kick off that? Oh, I can. Look at that. Okay, cool. It's kind of fun. Rude. That being empty is not very fun. Yeah, I mean, you seem to be able to, like, hang on everything. Oh, we're in a dark area. So are we going to, now this is interesting, are we going to be able to decide what happens to the brother? I mean, it's pretty obvious he did not know what he was getting into. Oh, Lord. These parts look so good. The light and dark areas. Oh, man. 
Oh, use the rope to get out back there. That would have been smart. So you can be smart in your own playthrough, and I'll just keep being dumb, apparently. I don't want this to end. Dude, I don't either. I I would I can't wait to start playing this. We're, we're going to be doing a 100 co-cent run of this game. And I am super excited to get started with it. We're going to be doing every single side quest, exploring every inch of the map. All the main story, obviously. I haven't decided what, what side we're going to go with yet. There's different sides you can do that weren't like full entire playthroughs. But I don't know which one we're going to do yet. Oh, maybe I have to go out to the rope. But yeah, dude, I can't, I can't wait to play this game. I'm, I'm at this point totally sold on it. Five hundred hours. I think we're going to be doing uh, everything we can in a single run. So I think they said it'd be between like eighty and a hundred hours. I will definitely do other runs of the game, but probably not back to back to back. The 500 hour thing was assuming that you did like, that you do every single side quest through multiple different playthroughs, I think. Because there are big decisions you can make in the game to get different endings and stuff like that. Ooh. Yo. Cool. That's a nice looking one. What are my settings right now? Pretty much everything maxed at 1440. And it's running just fine. It is important to mention, this is a, a slightly older build than what we'll be playing on February 4th, though. And the build we're going to be playing on February 4th has undergone more optimization and bug fixing, which is why they delayed the game. So, like, I'm assuming stuff like this probably will be worked on. Oh, look in the top right. I think we're getting night XP now. Hmm. Okay, this is where we got this. Problem is I had a waypoint going down to where I was before, and then I stupidly didn't go the right way, so now we don't have a waypoint to get back into this way. Yeah. That was my bad. Okay. All right, so let's see. Can I use the rope to just pull up? Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. it looks like it's for Oh, I could have used that to swing on to these guys. Okay. I don't... That's that's where we saw the UV light through the floor earlier. Okay. So I think our way out is probably through here somewhere. Maybe this giant green light that says exit? that oh only the devs would have put some kind of thing to indicate that this is the exit okay cool let's go oh jesus it's night um you still don't remember who attacked you cities were pretty. Oh, is that a howler? Yep, not messing with that. Okay. Inhibitor container detected. Oh, and I want to get it. I want to get it so bad, but I can't. Oh, this is a mistake. Oh, I'll be back, baby. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just give me a couple weeks. I know you're full of good loot. Yeah, the parkour system is much more fluid now. Like I said earlier, it's a little bit more floaty, but I think it's actually... I think I'm actually starting to like that better than the other one.
Get inside, Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monsters come out. <laughs> God, I want to explore this so bad. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous so blockade bad. center. <laughs> got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take care of the biters roaming the streets around the bazaar at dawn. Exotic. Fuck me. People will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Thank you. I see a fellow streamer is here. Chat. Okay. Damien, what's this all about? Let me in. You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust it down. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. Uh-oh. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Keep moving, Co. Keep moving. Keep moving. Focus up. Focus up. I was mugged for a bottle of water yesterday. Things are getting out of control. You're out of order. Um. I don't think we can just go up the side, right? No, we can't grab onto that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Looks better. I like that smell. Oh man, the high jump. It's gonna take some getting used to. We have so much more range in this game. Let's see. Oh, we can go all the way up here. There you go. Unless I can go in here? Oh wait, does this mean... Hold on. I didn't get access to the oh does co have access to the full game this is the full game but i'm i'm only doing a limited side quest look right now yeah we're doing uh we, we've been doing one of the side quests today and it's been pretty great so far i've been really enjoying it damien stop or i jump Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? Um... How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. 
For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh... Look, it's only fair that you know. No. I what? wailed on his balls that until he died. That is my fault. You know. I killed him, not you. So you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me. On those poor victims, on my brother, and even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors. Damn. I can handle that. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Grab him. Grab no! Oh! I'm the reason that he did that. I can't handle this. Call for help. So damn, that that would dude, that was intense. Um He popped up in here too, right? Oh, good. Wow, dude. That was wild. I was definitely expecting to, uh, expecting to, like, talk about his brother and what happened and stuff like that. Wasn't quite, um, wasn't quite expecting that. That was wild. That was wild. That's Dying Light 2. Uh, final, final thoughts on this. Uh, Dying Light 2 looks like it could be pretty great. I had a really good time with that. I thought it was relatively Come polished. On, please. I thought it was everything I liked about Dying Light 1 and more. I thought the side quest we did was interesting. I liked what I saw from the mechanics. I liked the parkour system. I liked the combat. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. I'm ready to do that for like 80 to 100 hours. Um, I'm ready to explore that world. I'm ready to check it out. Pretty freaking awesome. So yeah. What didn't I like about it? Um, the facial animations obviously could show more emotion, but I mean, at that point, you're talking about like the triplest of the triple A style of stuff. And frankly, this this studio is, 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 although a lot of the quality of their game is triple A, they don't have the funding of like a triple A. So I kind of completely understand that. I will say that the animations and the facial stuff is light years beyond Dying Light 1. And frankly, that's when you're when you're when you're talking about a, a follow-up game, that's really all you can ask for. I mean, when, if you remember our Dying Light 1 playthrough, like not only were the faces not a fraction of how good these looked, but when they would talk, it looked like they were talking a different language. Like it was, it was, it was, it was very much you could argue Dying Light 1's facial stuff is not good. Dying Light 2's facial stuff is damn good. It's not like movie quality, um, you know, like you're going to get in like the triple, triple, triple A stuff. But honestly, the improvement is incredible and it is so much more immersive than the first one. So yeah, that looked great. Um, the combat and stuff, I really enjoyed. It felt a lot more visceral. It's still, and, and I do, I do want to make sure people know this it does feel a little more floaty, but I do feel like that that's probably a design decision. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't think it's a bad thing. It caught me off guard because we just did a 60 plus hour playthrough of Dying Light. So it feels different, but I, I don't think it's worse. I think it's, I think it's actually better, um, for what they're doing. So it, it's more, it may, it, it makes it so like, when you get hit in stuff, when you get hit in Dying Light 1, your camera goes like this, you know, like you look down. When you swing, you like, you your character like looks up and then goes down as you arc it. And it doesn't really do that in this one. It's like everything's smoothed a little bit. 
And it makes it so you can kind of see what's happening easier. So I'm guessing that that was just a choice they made. I really like how Aiden, I don't know if he's just stronger or, or more amped than, uh, than, than our guy in Dying Light 1, but he seems to be able to jump further. It, it, he seems to be able to, to, to boost further. Um, and I, and I really think that that lends itself to this game. It, I found, I found it a lot easier to get around the world. I, there's a lot, there was a lot better flow. And I think for a game like this, that, that, that's only a good thing. That's only a good thing. Um, so yeah, is the sound cracking? The audio's popping right now? Uh... Any better? Oh, oh God. That. Oh. Hello? How's this? Is this better? We, we, we back and good to go? Again, thank you guys for being here for Dying Mike 2. You like that? That was, that was, that was good, wasn't it? Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's where we are. Anyway, uh, I did really enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. I am, I, I feel great about this. The, the only thing that could be, at this point, now that I've actually spent over an hour with it, the only thing that could be a deal breaker for me for this game is if there's like major bugs in the quest line or, or major other issues. But I have to say, in terms of the gameplay, in terms of the mechanics I saw, um, I mean, that was great. That was great. I had, a, I had a really good time with that. So big thanks again to Techland for letting us take an early look at that. All of that will be on my YouTube later if you want to check that out. Uh, it will also be part of our new daily highlight reels. By the way, check out code.tv uh, code slash new YT, or you can just go to youtube.com slash codaily now. We have daily highlight reels of our everyday streams going up there, 20 to 30 minute bites of like our eight plus hour stream. So be sure to check those out, comment on what can be better, and we will keep changing that and doing all sorts of stuff. So yeah, very cool. And again, big thanks to Techland. That was great. That was awesome.